Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and it is the last day of the January Creative Prompts. I hope you've enjoyed all of these creative prompts, that it gives you an inspiration to create in your journal, get you jump started into writing in your journal. Again, check below for the description box by clicking on show more for the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, my Facebook group by Linda Israel, my fan page, my website my Instagram, my Pinterest, Twitter, however you want to connect with me on social media, including here on YouTube. Today we are to use a, create a purple journal page, write about three things that were hard to do this month. I went ahead and I grabbed a couple of things. I've got a book page here that I thought I would use and I've got some acrylic paint. So I'm going to move my journal out of the way. I've got my mixed media mat here, so I'm just getting it out, and I'm going to use some acrylic paint, and I've got a old player's card, a gift card, something like that, to scrape the paint. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on here. I may have put several layers, because I really don't want to see the text below. I want this to be purple. Because I want more layers, I'm going to dry this and then add another layer of paint. I'm going to add a layer of cream colored paint to help cover up the text and then I can go over it one more time with purple and I think it'll look what I, the way I want it to look. It's starting to be a little bit more opaque so I'm going to add some purple paint again and then that should be enough paint. But I think that'll work so I'm going to clean up a little bit here and dry this and I'll be right back. All right, so that is predominantly dry. It may be a little bit damp, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple pieces of paper here. Normally I use my spray box, but I'm gonna use a scrap of paper behind my mixed media mat. And I've got the spinning flowers circle. So I'm gonna put that over the top. And I've got the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels from the Christmas Peacock subscription box that I offer in my shop. I'm just shaking up. It's a really dark purple with a really pretty gold shimmer to it. So I'm just going to spray through the stencil, which will add a little bit of a pattern to my purple page. I'll grab another sheet of paper just to mop up the Tattered Angels that's on that page, and I can use it for other projects. So you can see that's a pretty purple. So we've got a little bit of a pattern there. It's hard to see at the moment, but I'm going to dry it and it'll be enough texture that when we put it in our journal page, it'll look good. See how that's turned out? You can see the texture in there. It's kind of cool, isn't it? All right, so let's get my journal back over here. And I think what I want to do is I've already trimmed this to fit my page. So I'm just going to glue this down on top of the page. I'm going to add a little bit of Distress Ink before I do that, and then we'll glue it down. Painting papers like this, especially book pages, I mean, that's what it looked like before, and now here's what it looks like after. It's a great way to add color to your journals, to add additional writing space to your journals without spending a lot of money. Acrylic paint, if you buy a little bottle, this was a large bottle, eight ounces was three dollars, but sometimes you can get the little bottles from anywhere from a dollar, maybe 50 cents if you're lucky. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. The stencils, of course, if you don't have a stencil, you could use other materials that you have around your stash or just leave it with the painted page. All right, I'm gonna glue this down. It may come through on the other side, so I'm just going to flip my page and rub this side. So if there's any glue, I can wipe it away. I happen to have a little scrap that was from cutting it off of a page, and I thought it might look kind of neat if I put it on this page. So I'm gonna trim it to be the same height as my journal page here. Let me apply some Distress Inks and then I'll glue it down. All right, I think, do I wanna go that way? Yeah, I'm gonna put it that way. And then I have another little scrap here from a gel print where I was cleaning up my gel plate, and this was just a little piece that was a, a open on my page. So I'm just going to trim it out and I think it might look good as another little element on my page. I think I'll put it going this way on my page. I can use it to write the date on it. All right, it needs a little something else. So I'm going to dig around here and look for a rubber stamp that I might want to use and I'll be right back. I like this little heart. So I'm going to use this heart with some black uh, ink. I was going to put it on this side, but I think I'm going to put it closer to this side. I like it. 
It's another Beeline Designs image. I got a little word phrase that says love yourself, and I thought that would look kind of good down here on the bottom. So I'm going to add that, and then I can journal on the page three things that were hard to do this month. All right, for my January 31st creative prompt, we were to create a purple journal page. Got that done. And then we were to write about three things that were hard to do this month. Number one, it was hard to wait for vacation. It was, a, it was good to get away for a few days, but I was so ready for vacation. Number two, it was hard to get 10,000 steps a, a day this month. It was so cold that I didn't walk outside. I had to get creative and find places indoor where I could walk. And then number three, finishing the creative prompts. It took a lot of time planning each prompt, creating a video, and then editing the video, but I got it done. All right, everybody, I'm going to bind my journal and it will be ready to enjoy on my days that I want to go back and read about what happened. I hope that you enjoyed the process of creating journal pages. Look how fluffy this journal has turned out. So many creative prompts, so many creative writing in here. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'm not sure at this point how well the the February prompts will be. I may not do videos, but we will have the prompts available inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group so that you can do your own. I will probably pick this back up in May, May, March. Uh, it kind of depends on my schedule. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.